All right, you guys, today we're going to check out how to create this halftone text animation here in After Effects, inspired from myself. I used to make this halftone effect in Photoshop and Illustrator, and I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can check those as well. Step one, create a new composition, rename it halftone. For the width and height, I'm going to go with 2000 by 2000, 30 frames per second, 4 second, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, I'm going to type in the letter M. Let's arrange it to the center. So the size of the letter M should fit three times on the artboard, exactly like this. So when you're going to write a text, make sure that it's going to be somewhere around in this dimension. I'm also going to go to the composition, right click, new, select solid, rename it as background, black background, click OK. And drag it under the text, select both layers, right click, pre-comp, type in text, click OK. Let's go back in the comp, right click, new, solid, Rename it as Blur Comp, let's click OK. Let's go to Effects and Presets, type in 4 Color Gradient. And drag it on the Blur Comp. And let's go ahead and recolor the first two color to white, and the second one as well. And the third and the fourth is going to be black. And I'm going to go to the Blur Comp and uncheck it. Make it invisible, I right click, New, and select Adjustment Layer. Let's rename it Blur. Go to Effects and Presets, type in Compound Blur. And let's go ahead and drag it on the Blur layer. Let's go back to effects and presets, type in camera lens blur and drag it under the compound blur. Now first we're going to go to the compound blur and make sure to change the blur layer to blur comp, source, effects and masks. And now let's go to compound lens blur and we're going to do the same thing at the layer, change it to blur comp, source, effects and masks. I'm going to go back to the compound blur, I'm going to change this to 100, maximum blur. Let's go to camera lens blur and I'm going to change the blur radius to 60. So this is pretty much it. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go back to the blur comp selected and let's go to the four color gradient. Click on the text here on the title and I'm going to zoom out and check this out. We got these four circles. So if I'm going to bring it in and it's going to make this area more blurry. And if I'm going to bring the bottom dot here in, which is basically the black, it is going to make the letter sharp in this area. So I'm going to go with this one and drag it here and make a nice composition. So now we get the blur effect done. I'm going to select all the three layers, right click, select pre-comp, rename it as blur, click OK. And now we're going to change up the artboard size. So let's go to the composition, composition settings, and I'm going to go to the width and the height and decrease it to 1080 by 1080. Click OK. So it's going to look something like this. And I'm going to go to the comp, right click, new, select the adjustment layer, right click, rename, halftone. All right, so now comes the complicated part. We're going to make the halftone. Let's go to effects and presets and search for CC ball action. Drag it on the halftone layer. I'm going to go back to the effects, search for fill, drag it under the CC ball action. And I'm also going to search for the solid composite. Drag it under the fill. I'm going to make the fill white and I'm going to go to the solid composite. I'm going to change it to black. Click OK. Let's go to the CC ball action and I'm going to go to the grid spacing, increase it. I'm going to go to 12 and the ball size is going to be 26. All right, so now we're going to need to rotate the half tone. So let's go to the effects and presets, type in transform. And let's go and drag the transform above the CC ball action. Let's go to the rotate and I'm going to type in minus 45 degree angles and select the transform, press control D to duplicate. And as you can see, we've got two of these and I'm going to go to the transform two and drag it under the CC ball action. And here we're going to type in 45 degree angles. All right, so I'm going to go down to the solid composite. Let's go to effects and presets, type in Gaussian blur, double click, and I'm going to increase the blurriness to 19. Let's go back to effects and presets, type in CC composite, drag it under the blur layer. Let's go to transform mode and let's change it to hard mix. And check this out, now we get the half tone pop in, but we also got some anti-aliasing on it, so we're going to need to smoothen that out. So let's select the Gaussian Blur, press Ctrl D on it, and drag the Gaussian Blur 2 under the CC composite. And I'm going to decrease the blurriness to 3. Let's go to effects and presets, search for noise, and drag it under the Gaussian Blur 2, and I'm going to decrease it to 26. And check this out, this is how I make this halftone effect here in After Effects. Also, if you want to animate it, you can go back to the blur, double click, select the blur comp and make sure to click on four color gradient so you can see these dots. And all you need to do is activate the 0.1 stopwatch, two, three and four. 
and I'm gonna bring this to the first second and just move this circle around. And as you can see, it is going to animate it. And you go back to the halftone comp, hit play, and that's how you make halftone text effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.